is going on guys? It's your boy Cecil here, bringing you guys yet another Photoshop tour how to create your own simplistic UI design, banner design. Yo, I don't know why, but I had UI in the title this time because if you guys remember my clean gradient one that you guys really, really freaking liked, by the way, I had like 6k views in the month, so pretty awesome that you guys like that. So I kind of like went about went about that in a different way, different color scheme, a different sort of vision for it. So I do have like the circle things. I think when you think of UI, you sort of think of like loading, like circles. That's what's going on here. Don't, I don't, you know, you know what I mean. And then I also made the social media banner sort of links or social media links, like, I don't know, like a little fun little thing happening, you know? It just looks fun. It looks cool. It's very simplistic in a way as well. So, uh, yeah, I want to definitely show you guys how to do this thing. So, of course, tune likes on the video equals a secret down below, and I'll just show you guys in its full glory. And, uh, yeah, look, it looks, I think it looks pretty freaking clean. I do like the background a lot, though. And that's just very, very simple as well. So, Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing going. Like I said already, again, two likes on the video because a secret down below, so make sure you guys just leave a like and all that cool stuff. And the only thing, I don't think I'm using anything different in this. Yeah, this is all done in Photoshop, so, okay, sweet. So I'm gonna just uncheck that. I do have my logo here already, but uh, that'll just stay there for now. If you guys want to know the background color that I am using, the hex code for it is 0011D, or so 111D, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and get this thing going. So, the first thing I am gonna start off with is the social media kind of bar thing it's very fun and very simple it's not too hard whatsoever and uh yeah so usually i would always tell you guys to keep your social media banner icons the same color but uh or excuse me the 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 color the original color of the of course the logo itself like twitter blue stuff like green uh purple twitch but in this case i wanted to make it all one single color of one single white or something like that just to make it very clean and very like very heavy on the actual color scheme so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna just uh quickly Start off with these three little boxes. So I'm gonna click on the middle here and I'm hold Alt and Shift. And I am using the rectangle marquee tool. So holding Alt will allow you guys to actually keep your your basically your cursor or the actual shape being focused in the middle. And holding Shift will make sure it's a perfect square no matter what. So I'm not holding Shift here, but I'm holding Shift here and it's a perfect square no matter what. So make sure you guys do that. I'm gonna go ahead and make a pretty good size square. I wanna kinda of get the same size as before. That's pretty close. So the color for my little boxes here that I'm gonna be using is the hex code uh, zero, no, excuse me, it's this one, uh, 17374C, pressing okay. And then once you fill it in with your foreground color, if you guys did not know, if you press alt backspace, that's the quick fill for, uh, you know, quick filling things inside marquee tools and shapes and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and just really quickly make three of these. And pay attention to when I move it over, I'm holding Alt and Shift, by the way. Alt is making me duplicate it, and holding Shift will keep it in the same orientation no matter what. So I'm going to move it to about 146. You guys saw I said 146. I'm going to do the same exact thing and try to move it 146 as well. Perfect. That way, we know for sure that in between these two things is the same exact size. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just take, let's just take Twitter, uh, Twitch, and Selfie. Why not? Well, let's just take actually, let's just take uh, YouTube. Why not? Okay, boom. I'm dragging these in, uh, in here. So I'm gonna do really quickly first is I'm gonna basically size these all in these little boxes here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that there. Let's put YouTube in there as well. I do think for the YouTube one, we're gonna have to sort of do this really quickly. If we're gonna make this white, that way it'll look better. We'll see in a second. And then same thing for this. Right? Just like so. Not too hard whatsoever. So the thing I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to hold uh, Control u on my keyboard. Not hold it, but press Control u on your keyboard. It brings out the hue and saturation for the actual layer itself. So in this case, I'm just going to basically take my lightness and just put it up to 100. And that's going to basically make my stuff white. That's what I want. So except for going to color overlay and stuff like that, why not just do this? I think it's a little faster, a little easier, and it does honestly work. So basically, we have the first sort of like little part going on here. So I just show you guys this again. This is what we're going on right here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do, is I'm gonna go ahead and take a new layer, and we're gonna take the rectangle marquee tool once again, and we're gonna basically make like a very nice skinny sort of line in the middle. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this pink color that I'm using for the actual color scheme, which is uh, E22467. And if you guys want to, I think green looks really good for this UI like color thing as well. Uh, it, I would definitely suggest to use green as well if you guys didn't want to, you know, completely take the purple and blue color scheme from me or whatever. If you want to use blue or green, it looks really good as well. I'm going to basically alt and shift move this over as well and sort of get two of them right here, right? And now what I also might do is I'm going to double click on this and use a outer glow. 
and we're gonna select a pink outer glow, but just make it a little bit more, and I'm gonna lower my size down just a little bit as well. Pressing OK, zoom in this baby out, and there we go. So, so far so good. Right now we have this entire thing done. We're gonna do this really quickly thing right here as well, and the way we're gonna do that is very simple as well. We're gonna make a new layer, and we're gonna go ahead and take the rectangle marquee tool once again, and we're just gonna sort of do this, right? Uh, that's good. And I'm gonna right click it, I'm gonna go ahead and click stroke, and I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, let's just say, I think 20 is good. Let me just find out really quickly. Let me see 20, and we're going to make sure it's located on the inside. I'm going to press OK. OK, 20 is way too much, so let's go to stroke. Let's go to 6. Maybe that's OK. 6. Ah, uh, we can do a little skinnier. So I'm going to say stroke size 3. Call it a day. Perfect. That is great. Now, what I'm going to do now is on the same exact layer that we just made the triangle with, Press W on your keyboard. That brings up the uh, the magic wand tool. You want to click on the inside of this, make a new layer, fill it in with any color. What you guys know before, Alt Backspace is the quick fill. You can fill it in with any color. It does not matter whatsoever. So you can press Control Backspace, Alt Backspace, and then just lower down your fill all the way down to zero. If you guys do not know what that does, it's basically lowering your opacity down all the way down to zero. But everything that's also a layer style or a layer mode on your actual layer itself will still be visible, so that's what we want to do. We want to make sure the actual picture is gone, or the shape is gone, but we want to make sure the layer style is still there, because what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to click Inner Shadow, and we're going to turn off Use Global Light, we're going to put it on the angle of 90, and we're just going to put our size up, and let's just say, I think that's pretty good. I can put it on a different kind of angle if I want to. Let's just try like 180. 180 is pretty good as well. Perfect. I'll say that's pretty good. So multiply opacity 75, 180 uh, angle, and I have my distance choke and size at 4113. So you can copy that if you guys wish to. Press an OK. And at this very moment, we now have this sort of little box going up on top here. So I just did a little silly little things here, which is, I don't know, it's kind of silly, but I thought it looked pretty cool. So what I honestly did was, of course, I used the rectangle marking tool once again. Now, if you guys want to keep your stuff very organized, so this entire piece, I'm just going to group this entire thing together with Alt or excuse me, Control G to group it all together. And we'll just call it social media. And I'm going to make a new layer again. And then I'm going to take this rectangle. I can even use circles. Uh, we'll just use rectangles though, because I want to do the little, the simple little thing as well. Um, so just like so, fill that in with pink. I'm just gonna sort of guess the uh, this sort of distance here. I did use rulers a lot uh, for my actual project for the example, but I did get rid of them, rid of them a lot. So I'm just gonna say that's pretty okay. We'll just we'll just agree to disagree that this is perfectly fine. That this is perfectly space right. It's not though. I can tell. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so if you want to do some something silly like this, right? I also did the uh, little lines, and the way I did these little lines were very simple as well. If you guys remember my other Plexus tutorial, which a lot of you guys enjoyed as well, you guys know that if you can just make a new layer, and then use your brush, but change your brush settings so that your size is at two, and your hardness is at one hundred, right? That way, when you use the pen tool on your new layer, we're just gonna make a quick little pen tool mark, something like this. Right, and then like I'll just make another one. I hold control, click on the outside to cancel this one, and then I'm gonna make another one here, just like so. I can use control to click on it and re like open it and move it if you need to. But basically, if you just right click, uh, stroke path, change your thing to brush, press an OK, and then delete the path, and then there you go. You have little lines now. You can do that a lot, and if you want to change the color to white, like we already did, control U, take your lightness and put it all the way up to 100, just like so. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do, use my little text tool here, and we're going to type in social media. I'm not going to put a space because I'm going to change this to uh, next to light. We're going to make this white. That rhymed. Oh, Lord. Okay. And we're going to put this, let's actually make this pretty small. And just put it right in the inside of this. There we go. Perfect. So, now we sort of got our little box here. I'm going to show you guys how to quickly do this little bottom piece here as well. So, uh, we're just going to go ahead and just group all this together. We're just going to move this right here. Okay, so for this, I am going to use these rulers. Let's control R to bring them up. And I'm going to put my rulers right here and right here on the outside of the boxes. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to go ahead and basically start here. Like, right here is perfectly fine, right in the middle. And sort of make a pretty good sized... I think that's pretty good. Okay. 
And I'm gonna fill this in with a color really quickly. We'll just make it, I don't know, like that color for now. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna sort of just make three of these. But, or we can do, or I, I think we can just do this. Let's just go ahead and make one very large rectangle first. Uh, make it pretty skinny. I would say this is pretty okay. I think that's pretty good. So on a new layer, fill this in with any color. I'm just gonna make it pink for now. But what we're gonna go ahead and do is gonna duplicate this. Actually, before we duplicate it, let's create the actual thing first. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make this color, this uh, blue that we're using again right here. So the hex code 17374C again. Press an okay. And then I'm gonna rasterize this because we're gonna make another layer and then clippy mask this to it. So with this, we're gonna take the rectangle marker tool once again. And we're going to sort of visualize like this is the triangle that we're trying to get or the square that we're trying to get. This is a pretty good size square. It doesn't have to be completely even. If you choose to, go for it. But what we're going to do is fill this color in with this blue, which is 0C2232. And then I'll fill this in right here, just like so. Um, Okay, there we go. All right, so now I'm going to do is I'm going to make another new layer right below that clip mask layer. And then I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in and make a very skinny rectangle right next to it. And we're gonna make this rectangle white. And then we're gonna just simply on this layer, on this white uh, rectangle layer, if you just basically hold Alt and then move your mouse key to the right, it'll make a duplicate and move it one pixel over to the right and that's what you want. Cause we're gonna change this one to black. So there's gonna be one white one, there's gonna be one black one, but make sure you take the black one and move it below the white one. There we go. I'm going to take this black and I'm going to change it to overlay. And then I'm going to lower the opacity down just a bit. That'll be okay. All right. Perfect. So now I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and just take this. Where is it at? Yep. This, uh, so I'm just going to make this called the, uh, black first square. So you guys know which all these are. Holy capitals, but whatever. This is the white one, right? Yep. This is white. And then this one's a little black overlay. So I'm gonna take this black first square, right? Double click on this, inner shadow. I'm gonna change this to 180 degrees. I'm gonna bring this up a little bit. Let's try a different angle, actually. Let's try like, something like that, not bad. Just like so, I just want a little bit of an indention. So I'm gonna just get rid of those really quickly. You can see, just want a little bit of an indention there. And then basically what you're gonna do is I'm gonna take this entire little box that we just created and then just duplicate this two more times or how many however many links boxes you have and i'll make sure i pay attention to this bottom thing right below my mouse so uh where is it at so 89 let's just move that 89 one more time just like so i'll just move this down so it's 89 and then perfect so what i can do now is i can just basically take my let's just take these things again in here put this one in here twitter belongs in here so sort of this is a, a very this is very extra right like I would think UI is not very I would you know I only named a UI because I thought of the movements and sort of like the little lines and stuff like that but when I think of like sort of UI I think of just making something look very very creative in its very simplistic way and this is not completely like super dramatically crazy this is a lot of work however it does look very clean and simplistic in a way in my eyes so that's why I sort of named a UI so don't get too distracted this is not like UI designing but. This is sort of the uh, the outcome. I changed my thing, there we go. There we go. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna make this, you can use this uh, layout if you want. I'm gonna put twitter.com slash on the top. We'll make this pretty small. On the top of twitter.com slash and on the bottom, I like to do the actual name which is sesohq. Put my next sub bold on and then make this a bit bigger than the actual thing. So something like that would work. I'll make it a little bit bigger so it kind of fits on both sides. That's good. And then I'll just make whatever which one you want. I think I'm just gonna make the one on the bottom, the text on the bottom, the actual pink. And that'll work for me. And then you just basically duplicate these a couple more times. And of course, make sure you make it the actual thing it's supposed to be. So selfie.com slash, make sure it's centered. And then take this one, and this one is youtube.com slash. And then make sure it's semi-centered enough, right? There we go. So, that's a little link box there. And I'm just going to go ahead and group this all together. And I'm going to hide these rulers for you guys so you can see it. And then as you can see, oops, let's move 
where's what is all this this one is okay so these I'll just name this Twitter this one's YouTube and then this one's twitch okay group that together and then group this together now we have everything grouped up and I'm gonna just put this in there as well because this is the now the link box fully done and there we go so there's a little link box fully done we're gonna move this over a little bit so that's why I kind of grouped it together it's this and we'll just I don't want to move the letters so just this entire thing all right without these please let's just move this there we go move that to the center I think that's pretty close to the center there we go I know it's probably bothering a little bit a lot of you guys because it was bothering me for a second so we basically now finish this entire thing and uh yeah let's just actually I want to move this oh my god there's so much I want to move but I know it's like you know, I know what you mean. I know you guys know what I mean. Okay, that'll do. And now what I also did do as well, just because to make it look a little more cooler, was I put some stuff around this actual little link box on the bottom. And I'm just going to go ahead and just do the same thing. I'm going to put some circles. I'm just going to put, let's just put pink circles and call it a day. And not do the entire thing that I did before. But you sort of, you'll, you'll sort of get the idea of what I did. Put that there, put that there, put that there. And then move this over to the other side as well. Okie dokes. So, there we go. We sort of got our link box done. I'm not going to do this entire piece as well. But it is very, very simple, very easy. It sort of follows the same thing that we just did here. But just with using the... Let me just show you. Like, why not, right? I don't want to be tutorial to be too long. Because this did take me a little bit. But I just used rounded uh, the rectangle tool. And then I put my radius to 30. And that's how you get a very nice, clean sort of uh, box like this. And then I sort of just, you know, put it in the center here. And then I made it the same color as everything else, which is this one here. And then the way you do these little lines is I'm going to rasterize this layer, make a clipping mask, and do the same thing. So I'm going to, oops, let's use the rectangle marquee tool this time. And first we're going to make a box that is this color. And then I'm going to control, move my, uh, excuse me, alt, and then move my mouse key over. And then we're going to make one of these things white. And we're gonna put the white one on the bottom. And then we're just gonna leave it like so. Now, if you want, you can put this on overlay as well, but you gotta rasterize it. There we go. And then this is sort of how I did it, just like so. And so when you see it, it looks very, very clean. So if you just make a duplicate of these, you sort of get this nice little link box. So that's kind of what I did there. I just wanna show you guys, just because if you're curious and whatnot, but I'm not going to actually keep it there for now. But let's go ahead and just finish this thing off with a very cool, very simple, and like sort of strong looking background and stuff. It's very, very easy as well though. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my logo in the center cause that's where it belongs. And I'm gonna go ahead as well. And we're gonna make, I wanna make sure I make another, another uh, box here, another, excuse me, another layer. And then we're gonna move this to where this is as well. Just because I wanna make sure it's the same. And we're gonna fill this in with pink. So what I did was I made a pink little box just like right there, just right there, right? So the reason why I did that is because I'm going to make a new layer again. I'm going to take my, actually, I don't need to make a new layer, but I'm going to take my, uh, my circle, my ellipse circle tool or marquee tool, and I'm going to hold all and shift in the center. And I'm going to sort of see where I want to cut things. I think I'm going to cut things out right here. So I'm going to make a pretty big circle just to cut out this pink circle over here. So right now, let's pretend this is not here yet, but on this pink, uh, little rectangle, press delete on your keyboard and then get rid of it just like so. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this now. Let's go to the ellipse tool. And now I can use my new layer here. And I'm going to take the middle again, hold alt and shift. And what we're going to do is figure out like a sort of good spacing between this here. Now, if you guys never use uh, Illustrator, if you guys did not know, your fill is sort of how what's being filled in. And your stroke path is, of course, a stroke, the same thing that kind of correlates to what happens when you click on a layer style here and put on stroke. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off fill just by clicking this little thing right here, this little like slash through it turn on my stroke path we're gonna make it white for now and then the solid line we're gonna be using but i think the outside i want to use the dots so you have dots and you have dotted lines and then you have like or i don't know you just like call it marquee lines i don't really freaking know um and then like i'm gonna be using these though so i'm gonna go to the circles i'm gonna lower these down to like two points so i have more circles and then i'm gonna basically repeat this again so i'm gonna make a duplicate of this by holding Control j on my keyboard Control t to free transform i'm gonna bring this in this time oops alt and shift there we go but this time i'm gonna click back on this click back here to actually bring up 
apply the transformation click back here click back on this little uh what do you call this we'll call it the uh the, the shape tools and then click back up here to actually change it again so i'm going to use solid lines this time put it three points and then last but not least i make another duplicate Control j Control t to free transform make it a little smaller and then what we'll do is we'll change this one as well so apply it click back on here click here and then sort of figure out what you want maybe, maybe like one that looks pretty good okay i'm down with that i want to make sure i'm gonna make these a little bigger as well yes perfect okay that looks really good to me all right so which one did i actually have pink as well i did have this line here pink so click on this one i can just double click on this little bottom square in this actual thumbnail click pink or why is that not changing the color Okay, let's just rasterize really quickly and then just change the color by using the color overlay. There we go. All right, sweet. So what I'm going to do now is a simple little background I had before. So the way I actually did that was we're just going to group this together just like so. And then so I'm going to make it background. The way I'm going to do that is before I group that together, let me find out where this pink one is. I'm going to press W on my keyboard, click on this pink thing here. And I'm going to do is I'm going to right click. We're still holding the uh, rectangle marquee tool. And I'm going to select the inverse, which what this will do is basically select everything opposite. So I'm going to select everything here now, and this is what I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer, and I'm going to press M on my keyboard, just like so. I'm going to press right click, free transform, or excuse me, transform selection. Hold Alt and Shift, make it a bit smaller. Press Enter on your keyboard, or this little uh, check mark up here. And then on this new layer, you take your brush, make it white. And then you're going to take a soft brush. So I'm going to make sure my diameter is pretty big and my hardness is at zero. And then sort of click and drag like this. Just sort of like you're sort of like making like an array. And I'm going to press control D to deselect. And then just so you guys can see it, this is what it looks like. We're going to make sure we put this on overlay. And we're going to simply hold alt and shift and then just move it, duplicate it like this. And I'm going to do is I'm going to take this entire thing, group this together, and then just make a couple more duplicates going across and that's sort of how I got my pattern in the background. I'm gonna make sure I put this all in the background as well. So I'm gonna make sure I group all this together and put all this below everything here. And now I can turn this thing back on here. And then I'm gonna just lower my uh, opacity on the actual things here. I don't wanna get rid of that entire thing. I don't know why I put it inside. I wanna put it below it, there we go. And then lower the opacity down, just like so. And then what I can do now is sort of give me uh, give it the little lighting effect that I had before so above everything that you have you're gonna click here a new layer excuse me and then click this nice little pink here and then just click a couple times like right here up here up down there right there right there sort of like around this right hand side click here and then we're gonna go to change our blend mode to linear dodge add we're gonna lower our opacity down now if you guys wish to if you can press Control U that'll bring up the hue and saturation if you want to make this a little more lighter without lowering the opacity lower your lightness down and if you want to probably experiment with other colors that will look pretty good, just change your hue up here as well. It looks pretty okay. However, the one I have on pink. So I'm going to leave it there. Because I think it looks pretty dang good, to be honest. Just like so. I can just put a nice little brightness and contrast on it as well. Let's just go ahead and do that now. There we go. I, I, want, I sort of want to flirt with keeping this a little more dull on this left hand side so i'm gonna take my or click on this little thumbnail here use a black brush and then erase it because if you guys don't know black will erase and then white will sort of fill in it you can see it right here up here and you can sort of see it as well happening when i click but keep that like that and then i'm gonna put a very simple sort of like little i don't know pattern on this left hand side i can make a new layer i'm gonna use my brush pack because why the hell not i'm gonna change this color to something like this or like this one and then sort of click over here and put a nice little pattern on the left hand side i think that looks pretty good itself on itself but i'm going to quickly select the inverse and then delete that there so it's only over here on the left hand side i did keep it like this on the first time i actually did my example however i don't like it like this just because it's sort of i don't know it really depends on what the heck you guys have for your brushes and stuff like that but what i do is i just put it on a blur motion blur and i put my motion blur in a very diff uh, different angle and then just bring this up a lot to like, I don't know, that distance is pretty okay. Press the okay. I can make a duplicate, move it over here, flip it horizontal, put it on this side, but I'm gonna change this to white, the actual stock, and then put this on overlay. And then we have a nice little sort of 
reflected kind of symmetry kind of thing going on and then pretty much you are done now this did take a very long time there's a lot more you can do if you just feel it around like you like if i like me looking at it right now i can sort of say to myself i can do like little lines going like here because why the heck not i can make it like sort of do something like this this is completely not a part of the tutorial so i don't know if it'll look okay but uh bear with me for a second because i feel like this would look pretty cool if i put oops make sure i change my brushes i gotta make sure i change my brush to a soft brush make it two percent and then change my hardness to 100. there we go now i can just do the stroke path brush and then change this to white and then sort of just build on it more if i wanted to like i think it'll look pretty badass to be honest i can put maybe something below everything and just use like a uh what do you call these things Heck, half tones excuse me and let's just use half tones like white half tones and i think it'll look pretty freaking cool to be very honest like there are some things you can do for sure to make it look even cooler than what we have here right now so if you just sort of play with it a little bit more you'll definitely find yourself really enjoying the whole fact of like sort of like creating a very dope social media banner design and i hope you do enjoy this video this one was like not planned however my other one was gonna be planned for th uh for this thursday coming up uh what day is that let me just check just because i'm curious uh the 25th so that's the one i was gonna be post was supposed to be posted yesterday however i had to like i said it, the revised thing dude i'm trying my very very freaking hardest there's a lot of great things happening in my life right now as well so i'm sort of like really happy and i'm just sort of like kind of confused on why the hell the video has to be revised but you know what happens right so cool so okay there we go all done so of course some likes on the video equals a secret down below thank you guys so freaking much and thank you guys so much for the freaking support and if i did not thank you guys already we hit 67,000 subscribers so thank you guys so very much for all the people who have subscribed if you're new please leave a like and subscribe if you guys haven't already uh don't forget to follow me on twitter at sysohq do not forget to check out my selfie selfie.com slash sysohq right there and you can get pre-mades and packs as low as three bucks it's pretty awesome my brush pack is actually there for five bucks if you guys are curious i'll put it in the description down below for you guys as well because this is what it currently well this is the the, this is the version two there's a whole another brush pack uh where is it version one that has a lot more in it so if you just sort of like just quickly i'm gonna load it not quickly because there's a lot of them but there we go like these are the whole first parts and then the version two are the newer ones that i have going on so if you guys choose to you guys can go to purchase that as well so thank you guys so much for freaking watching talk to you guys later so so hq out peace